Today is the day. It's finally happening. We're gonna hatch up these magma sore eggs. We've had these things for like 10 episodes now or something. What? How did a snake get in here? What? How did you sneak by everything in my base and get in here? This looks so scripted. That is that is like the perfect moment for something like that to happen. But I had absolutely no idea that the thing, like how did you even, where did you even come from? What? I'm so confused. I genuinely had no idea that there was a freaking snake. He must have phased through the, no, that wouldn't make any sense. Cause that's not. Hang on, how high is the ground on the other side? It's definitely not that high. Are you kidding me? How the hell did that happen? Like, what? I'm so confused. Okay, um, Magmasaurix. Yeah, we're, we're gonna hatch them. I'm so lucky that that thing didn't kill me because I was AFK here for a couple minutes. Maybe it was trying to get up here. I have no idea. The only way that that thing could have gotten into the base is if it came from this direction, which means that it went by absolutely everything and got to there. Unless it, I don't, it must have somehow phased through. Like there's no way it would go by all these other creatures and not try to kill anything else. Okay. Well, th I'm glad that I was recording at that point because that is super weird. All right. Well, great. I mean, these are just breeders, but still. Uh, yeah, magma eggs. Let's get the match up. <laughs> What is happening? I don't even understand. Oh, damn, they're both female. That sucks. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, we gotta put this thing. Oh, we already have it on the right temperature. Sweet. Uh, I guess this thing is on the manual or not manual, automatic temperature thingy. Uh, this one's got blue on it. Ooh, I like that. And it's um, I guess it's only got three regions. Yeah. Okay, so it's got some blue, and it's got a, like a little bit of purple, and then some brown. This one here is slightly purple, and then kind of like brown as well. Okay, cool. Uh, will these things be good though? Let's take a little look at these stats. So 25 points into health, 21 on that one, uh, 27 into stem, 36 in this one. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, 26 melee on both of them, and then the weight is 29 on this one, 27 on that one. Um, okay, not bad, not bad. <clears throat> oh my god, all right. Well, this one right here has the better health, but this one here has the much better stamina, which is the 180, and they have the exact same melee, so... I think we'll be going with this one as our main little Magmasaur. Uh, sweet. All right. Let's, uh, I don't know. Should we hatch them both up? You know what? Actually, let me quickly go grab some sulfur because we do need that. Uh, I guess we could just go ahead and pull it. I do have a good amount of this stuff. I've been collecting it. Uh, here we go. So let's just pull that amount. That will be good for the moment. Sweet. So yeah, um, you used to only have to be able, or you used to only be able to, um, hatch up these dudes with, uh, was it ambergris but they didn't add that onto this map which kind of makes sense there are no space whales but at the same time you could kind of say oh yeah there's this spot on the map where there already is ambergris maybe there was space whales here at some point or whatever i don't know it would have kind of made sense to at least include it but they didn't which means that we don't have any super fast healing thingy for these dudes uh let's see so this is the one with the, like the little bit of purple on it uh i can kind of see that let's take a look at that blue one as well actually Let's get them both hatched up. Boom. All right, and let me have you. Okay, let's check you out as well. Uh, wait for it, there we go, cool. So we have like the little bit of blue on this one, I see. That's like the little tips of their little, um, uh, these bits, spouts. I have no idea what to call those. They are super glitchy in here, so I guess we should move them. All right, so we've given them just a little bit of sulfur here. Uh, I think we're probably gonna have to grab some more. Let me just pull for the rest of it. It's a lot easier to do. Sulfur, and we'll just pull all the sulfur that we have. Cool. We could probably put some of that into the trough as well. So, um, yeah, I do believe that these things before, they would eat the, the sulfur when they're grown up, but I don't think they ate it when they're babies. They only ate ambergris. So, yeah, this is, like, new. They basically had to change this. I don't know. Like, they must have kind of just forgotten about ambergris and then had the magmasaurs in here anyway. So, it's kind of weird. Um, on, what is it called? Fjordr, there are also Magmasaurs on that map as well. And they're likely going to be on the map when it becomes an official map. But I do believe there's a way to get Ambergris on that map as well. There's like a, 
a weird dimensional place on that map and it's super strange looking that i've never visited but i know of it and it's uh it's super crazy so i think there's ambergris there or maybe somewhere else on the map maybe in the bottom of the ocean as well but um yeah so we can now use sulfur which is pretty cool so i guess we're gonna have to wait for an imprint on them and just see if they take that as like their cuddle food because before of course they did only eat the ambergris like you know creatures like this and wyverns and stuff they're only going to eat a specific thing for their cuddle food so you kind of have to have that thing but um I'm, I'm curious though can we use sulfur to quickly heal these dudes that's the one thing i want to know does it do anything doesn't really do anything at all okay so i imagine that that probably doesn't work which sucks because Honestly, having a bunch of Ambergris and the Magma Sword is just super good because you could just take a bunch of damage and then just power it back up using all the Ambergris like you can do with Rock Drakes, with the Nameless Venom, and you can't do that with Wyverns at all, I don't believe, but still. All right, well, we're going to need to wait for an imprint on these two little babies to find out what they're actually going to eat. So guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you found yourself enjoying this one and RIP in the comments for all those little Sinnohs that died. I should probably clean up the rest of them. <laughs> I honestly can't believe this thing managed to get this far into my base. It must have come through there. I don't know. There's no way to know, really. Like, I, th you can't install cameras that constantly record. So, yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll never know. But maybe we'll find out at some point. I mean, do I see any damage here? I don't see any damage. I have no idea. I just don't understand how he would have actually come all the way through my whole base without even... Like, let me check the Torpor on my Mammoth here. Like... If it came in here, I probably would have noticed, you know? Like, no Torpor there. Wait, are you hurt at all? No, you're not hurt. What about the Dodic? You... You are hurt. Okay. All right, we're figuring this out a little bit here. So, the snake came in, came up to my Dodic, probably continued to hit it until it balled up, and at that point... It stopped attacking. Yeah. So we could have lost our Dodic if the Dodic didn't ball up, which is a great thing that it does do that. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to sort something out for the front here because that can't happen. I mean, like, I like my base. I like this whole big gate thing here, but, like, there's no way I'm going to block that up and have an actual opening and closing gate. That just doesn't interest me. We're going to have to figure out something for the outside. I could probably just put down a couple plant species or something, maybe, like, right here. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, that's very clear what happened there. So it came in, started beating up on my Dodic. Uh, did it hit the Rex, though? I feel like if it hit the Rex, then it would have ended up killing it fully. Yeah, no, it didn't hit the Rex at all. Okay. And I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, Syntec, you should have some creatures on neutral, you know. And you're, you're right. I definitely should. So let me move this Rex, put him by the gate, and have him on neutral. So they'll hit him first, if anything. And, uh, and then, although, you know what? They might actually not hit him. Hmm. I guess we could have him, have him, like, forward here and maybe put him on aggressive, but I don't want him running off. I don't know. We're just gonna put him here. Maybe he'll stop things from coming in. Let's see. Can we make him an auto-roar? Is that a thing? I don't think there's a turret mode for the roar. Damn it! All right. Well, anyway, so, came in. It started hitting my Dodic. Probably went around trying to get me, and then landed over here, and then it was like, okay, well, there's a bunch of snacks in here, so... We're gonna come in here and eat things, so yeah. Very, very strange. I, I was super surprised that that actually started happening. I had no idea what was even happening. You know those times when you're kind of like not paying too much attention and then suddenly something bad starts happening and you're like, wait, wait, what is happening? Something bad is happening, but I have no idea. So yeah, it was, uh, was kind of like that for me. Either way though, catch you guys in a few minutes. All right, so I'm not actually able to put this onto my bar at all. So I think I was a little bit confused. I thought that they added that as like, something that you could feed them when it's asking for like a cuddle food so i guess not they both want to walk okay cool so um yeah that's fair enough i actually thought that that was like something that we could just imprint them with instead of ambergris but i guess they're still gonna probably ask for ambergris if they do ask for it and you're kind of confused because obviously you don't have that on this map and you don't want to go to a different map to go and grab some what you can do is just pick them up in a cryopod and then chuck them back out hopefully that happens at some point today so i can kind of demonstrate it but that's basically what you do to re-roll what they're asking for. Did the two of these guys get an imprint? I only saw it pop up once. You've got one, and you've got one as well. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I actually only saw one of those pop up. Cool. All right, well, anyway, we got five imprints to go on these dudes, and about ten minutes until the next one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it wants Ambergris. Fair enough. 
Let's go ahead and pick you up and drop you back down. What do you want now? A walk. All right, so we're just healing up these two. I think they're probably almost done. Maybe, yeah, I feel like they're probably done. Let me see. Uh, yeah, you're done. Um, so we're gonna use one of these things as our Magnosaur to like use for killing stuff and fighting stuff and, and different things like that. And then the other one is going to be a metal gathering one. Oh, here's the issue though. Look at this. Okay, so this is the one, this is the 180 with the better stamina and the slightly worse health, but the exact same on the melee. This one also has the higher weight. <laughs> Damn it. No, uh, I'm still going to use the one with the less weight for the metal gathering. So we actually need to do that now. I actually completely ran out of, um, of metal. I made up one saddle, but we need to make up another one. So let's go ahead and pop that on. We're going to fly on over to this little mountain over here where we have a bunch of metal. All right, let's see. We probably got a couple things around here. We got a Rex, actually. We could probably fight that dude. Although I can't do the spitballs until I have some metal nodes, so... Let's see. We're not metal nodes, metal ingots. Um, which one was it? Was it this one? This is the 180. So this one here is the 174 with the saddle. Go ahead and pick that up. This one also has the blue on it, which I really like. But uh, the other one's got purple too. So, oh my God, that's a lot of metal. Hell yeah. So that's going to be great. I mean, like, <laughs> that is a good amount of metal to just get from one little bite like that. We're probably going to have to figure out a system to get all this stuff back. Because, like, the magma sword does reduce the weight, but it's not reduced enough um i guess what we could do is we could just would it weigh any less inside of my Sinnoh? it would be halved and then halved again so no it would weigh the exact same okay never mind yeah we're gonna have to figure out a good way to bring all this stuff back Let's see am i hitting that thing no come on let me swing at it oh yeah there we go sweet can we hit that as well doesn't look like it okay cool all right maybe what we could do is we can use the quetzal to bring all this metal back i mean like that is a good amount let's see uh we want to level weight does that go by much eh, it might not take too long to actually get up to the point where we're good on weight hmm yeah i don't know we're gonna have to figure something out here let me actually grab just a little bit of this metal and grab the saddle as well maybe we'd, let's just put you onto smelting mode and uh let's chuck out the other one here and kill that rex down the hill okay and then that and then let's see do we have any ingots already made over here uh we got one good enough for the moment all right let's see uh where are you mr rex you were like further down here weren't you Ooh, we don't want to take fall damage okay wait where was the rex was it was it not down like right here I could have sworn it was what <laughs> oh there it is okay it must have ran down the hill or maybe i'm mistaken i'm probably mistaken that almost kind of looks like a rock elemental it's a very weirdly placed rock let's see let's get down here okay come here mr rex knowing my luck you're gonna be like a 180 no you're good <laughs> i just need to know i've made way too many mistakes so far like i've killed way too many 180 so far this series Boom. All right, we had to shoot that right there. Unfortunately, did do as much damage as it could, but we got a good amount in right there. Oh, man. Yeah, I love Magnosaurs. They're such cool creatures. They really are. Um, let's see. We got 16 ingots in there. Um, all right, well, cool. I'll try to get all this stuff back to base. Um, I don't even know what to use. I mean, yeah, I got to go back and grab my Quetzal. So let's bring some back on the Maywing and uh, try to sort out the rest. All right, well, we got 43 levels on this thing. Let's just pump them all into weight. That's enough. Actually, I should make a platform saddle for this. Although actually carrying the Magnosaur, if we can do that, would actually make a much better idea. Okay, hang on. Can we, can we pick you up? I guess we can't, right? Damn. All right, so... Damn it, having an Anki actually would be a good idea. Because if it had all of the metal on it, it would all be reduced by default, right? So yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to figure out a good way to do this. I guess maybe if I made a platform saddle on the Quetzal and then did a ramp, I could walk the Magnosaur up, but then I'd need to get the stuff back into it, which doesn't work. Uh, having a Dodic, though, to reduce the weight of the stone would probably also help. Because I do want to bring back all of this stuff. All right, so we're heading down to the desert, and I have one thing on my mind. I want to try and find a death worm. I actually haven't seen one here yet, although at the same time, I haven't really spent that much time in the desert, so I'm not 100% sure that they actually even spawn here, but 
I think it'd be kind of weird to have a big Dooney area like this and no, you know, no death worms. So I don't know. I'm hoping that they're here, but at the same time, I have no idea. Let's just have like a little search around using the Maywing though, because we can see through the ground here. Your best bet is to go into like K mode or orbital camera or whatever, and just kind of hold the camera underneath the ground there. Because if there is a death worm, you'll see it. You'll 100% see it. Um, but yeah, again, I have no idea if they even spawn here. I kind of hope that they do. I mean, it would definitely be kind of weird to actually not have them. Let's see. I don't, yeah, I don't see any so far. They might not be super rare though, to be fair. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're getting kind of close to the border here, which they're probably not going to be around there. All right, let's go in this direction. The desert here is actually massive. I never even realized it. I mean, it's really big. Like, we have that whole section behind me there where it's all, like, kind of cliffy and stuff. Uh, there's, like, big pieces of terrain and stuff. But then we have, like, the full dune area. And uh, this is, like, gigantic. Like, it spans across the whole map. So, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can't see any of them. Damn it. You better exist, freaking death worms. I'd love to find an alpha one, though. That would be amazing. Although, at the same time, I don't actually know if my Magnus Orc could take an alpha. Probably not. Probably not. Um... I don't see any I kind of want to look it up okay let me just have a little bit more of a search over in this direction and we'll uh we, we gotta look it up I gotta find out I don't want to be wasting my time here forever and I'd be so disappointed if they're not on here also there are mantis so although I think you can use rhino horns now on them can't you I feel like you can use something else and I can't remember what it is Ooh, hello okay so i'm seeing that there is evidence that they do spawn on here it's just a matter of actually finding one i'd say they're probably rare they've got to be oh my god this area actually goes over much further than i thought as well how far over does this go is there even anything down here i know there's a cave in the desert i'm not exactly sure where it is but i know that there is one um but yeah this is like a whole big area here and then it, it kind of ends off here with the border um, and that goes a little bit further. How far away from the edge of the map are we? Pretty close, actually. You know, another square, uh, on the map, and then we'd be at the very edge. So, I don't know. That's a good distance, though. That's kind of crazy. All right, let's just, uh, let's get out of here, then. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I imagine that they're, they're probably around the Dooney area. Let's just keep searching. This area is nice, though. I kind of wish I there was, like, more reason to kind of come down here. I guess the desert drops are great, but at the same time, like, it just kind of feels weird to have this gigantic desert down here, right? When we have, like, the big island, the lost island, and then we have the giant desert beside it. Just kind of seems a bit weird. Like, I know a lot of people don't like the idea that you can just see desert for, you know, infinite distance there. So, I, I guess I kind of see your point as well. It doesn't really add much to the map and it kind of seems a little bit odd so yeah uh is this the cave is this the the little cave that we have down in this area this looks like is there something at the end yeah we got something back here all right let me go ahead and kill this dude real quick or not real quick because oh my god you suck oh my god look at all those berries again now all right uh okay get off of me okay i need to get out of here uh no we're stuck I can't move. Oh, I'm, I'm overburning. Yeah, that's why. That makes sense. <laughs> I was about to say, why can't I move? All right, we're good. Um, Let me pull out. Let's pull out the uh, the mana. Why do I still have this thing in my inventory? That's the, the Sinnoh that's not mutated. I used that in the last episode as like an example. I just never moved it. It's just been chilling in my inventory at the exact same spot. All right, let me kill all these dudes. There we go. We good? I think we're good. I know we killed a 174. Don't worry. I don't really like terror birds that much. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the artifact cave, right? All right, whereabouts are we? Uh, there it is. Mm, we're here. This definitely looks like an artifact cave. Uh, although maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> um, we got a bunch of metal in here. <gasps> oh wait, is this just a little self-contained cave? Oh my god! No way! Wait, wait, wait. There's no way over here, right? Oh, <gasps> that's kind of insane. Oh my god. I'm sure I'm sure you guys already know of this cave if you're playing on PvP. We've got some sulfur back here. Let me just grab some. Um, that's ridiculous though. This this is a nice cave. I imagine that this is a great base spot. I don't know. 
like I, I know I sometimes kind of reference PvP and stuff like I haven't really you know properly played it I mean I played like bits and, and like bits and pieces of the past but nothing super like serious or unofficial or anything like that it's just I don't really have time for that type of stuff I couldn't make like daily videos if that was my content unless it would just be you know be absolutely getting wrecked every single episode because people just watch my videos and find out where I am also that would be super annoying to try and hide that every single episode <laughs> but yeah um this is pretty insane though I imagine that this is a great spot like you could block back this area and just fill this whole area here with turrets and have like more and more gates out this way and probably like a cliff platform could sit up there I don't know this is a great spot though um let me just show the coordinates once again if anybody wants to actually live here whether it be pvp or pve that's ridiculous yeah <laughs> oh my god no way although to be honest this map has a lot of caves like that one way in and it's like a tiny little crevice like that you know you couldn't keep gigantic dinosaurs in there but I guess nowadays like we have cryopods so I imagine people don't really keep their dinos out too much let's see let's get out here I don't know pvp people is that a good spot do you like that spot there's also that one gigantic cave in the redwoods that's like really tall that you could have your dinos out in so yeah I don't know let's uh let's just run around on the mana for the moment uh we got a red drop coming down I'll definitely have to make sure I grab that oh hello let me grab this real quick just barely spotted you you are aggro from super far away you can actually you should be able to see it under here oh I can't came out properly there we go oh what what oh now I see it okay I was about to say did they change that because I couldn't see it all right let's power up are we ready wait where is it <gasps> sorry no what the hell just happened where is it what where did it go <laughs> what what happened to it Oh, that's so confusing. Where did it go? It just disappeared. Um, so I was just thinking, I think I know what happened to the, uh, to the death worm, but I don't know if it's a hundred percent. Like this may not be a thing, but I remember when we were, um, I don't know how many people actually watched this video, but it was the one at the Thanksgiving event with the super turkeys, right? I was showing off different creatures and like whether or not they're useful against the super turkeys and when I was showing off the magmasaur the turkeys like went below the magmasaur and then they kind of just disappeared like they didn't they didn't like get killed or whatever or fall they maybe fell through the world I have no idea but they basically just full-on disappeared and I feel like that's probably what also happened just there I don't know if that's a hundred percent like confirmed or whatever but I guess if a creature is below a magmasaur it has a chance of disappearing there we go look at that right there that is awesome. All right, let's um, let's try to get this thing's attention then. Uh, should I be below the magmasaur then? I don't actually know. Or should I should I be below the magmasaur? I don't want to disappear. Um, I have no idea what to do here. Let's see, but yeah, you can see the death room. Look at that. That's kind of terrifying, actually. <laughs> hey, buddy, you gonna come play? There we go. Okay, we got its attention. Come on. All right, if this happens again, that means that they just disappear. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Let's try and let it kind of come up a little bit. And as it does that, I'll move. So you can see it under there. There it is. Okay, cool. We got it out at least. Let's see. Go ahead and just try to get one of these things ready. I'll just drop one of these on it for the moment. That did nothing. That didn't even touch him. Let's see, don't go back in. No! Oh my god. All right. Come back up then, buddy. I need to not be on top of him when he comes up. I don't know if that's a thing. I just don't want that to be a thing and then to lose another death worm. But there we go. Boom. Oh my god. I get absolutely ruined. So um, just to kind of clarify, you can't actually use Sinnohs and get them to deal extra damage to a death worm because they don't produce kite and they produce keratin instead. So just figured that I should mention that in case people aren't sure. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> go ahead and eat the prize i think we already got the yeah we got the horn right there sweet so um yeah just to confirm like they, they give keratin not chitin so sinos won't do any additional damage like they do on like scorpions and different things like that so figured i should mention that 
Um, I don't know if I want to really test it, but I feel like if a death worm was trying to surface from underneath the magmasaur, maybe that does make it disappear. I can't really understand how the other one just full on vaporized. So yeah, that must be what happened. I'm not sure though, to be honest. Let me know. Is that a thing that people know of? I had no idea. Let's see, come on. Here we go. Let's go ahead and kill this Arthro as well. Come here, buddy. All right. And... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I, oh, yeah, I took out the metal. That makes sense. Boom. How much is that going to do? Okay, not bad. You're probably mate boosted, though, because there's another one right here. Does this do anything? Eh, didn't really hit him. Oh, by the way, just to confirm, feeding sulfur to these dudes, it doesn't actually increase the health at all. So, yeah, it's just kind of like their normal food. Like, they'll eat it, of course, but it's not going to increase their health at all. Can we feed? We can feed, feed meat to actually do that, and it goes up a lot quicker than anything else, really. It's going up by, like, five per piece of meat, I think. Ish. Yeah, that's actually a lot better. Wow, okay. Sweet. Oh, we got another death worm over there. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to move again. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. We got two. Okay. Yeah, these things are not actually that uncommon. <laughs> Um, all right, let's just uh, move when he's coming up because, again, I don't want him to potentially disappear. Did I take out the metal? I think I did. Yes, I did. Okay, crap. All right, let's try this again. Boom! Uh, just start hitting him then. He's already burning with that. I guess we could set another one on him. Come on. Boom. Oh, my God. All right. Come here, buddy. Get a little bit closer to me. Death ones are so terrifying. Like, the very first encounter I had with one of these guys, like, oh, man. It was a scary experience. Like, they are a lot stronger than you would think. Come here. Come on. Eh. All right. Got to get closer. I might just hit him with another spitball. Almost. Boom. Okay. Come on. He's got to die from this. Die already. Come on. Oh, I set my cell phone fire, I think, or something. What did I do? I'm not sure what that was. I said I was engulfed, but I technically wasn't. Die. All right, there we go. Got you. We got a little bit of angler gel as well. Nice. Let's fight that other one then. Oh, look at that. He's not even... Is he moving? Oh, he is moving towards me. Okay. Here, let's just test this. Let me just see if it can come up from underneath me. Oh, it did. Okay. I don't know what the hell happened earlier then. I'm so confused about that. Set him on fire. Boom. We're actually aggroing everything to us by doing that, but that's fine. More things to kill. All right. Come on. A little bit more. Oh, we got him. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll hold on to that. Okay, there we go. Wait, did we get the horn? Yeah, we did. Sweet. We got a little bit of leech blood as well. Nice. Okay, I'm just going to drop all that stuff. Seven levels to melee. Boom. All right. Is there anything else around? I mean, we could just keep looking for death worms, actually. This is a pretty efficient way of killing them. Let's see. What is that? Okay. That's a jug bug. Does anybody know if there's any, like, desert drops on this map? You know, like, the little red drops that are just, like, in the desert? If anybody knows of one, please let me know the coordinates. I definitely would like to farm that. But I haven't seen any myself, so. Also, this desert is big, but it's not gigantic. So I guess I could also kind of understand there not actually being any of that stuff. Oh, I think I see another one over there. It's like in the water. It's super hard to see, but you can barely just see it. Uh, I can't see it anymore, but we should be able to see it soon. Come here, buddy. There you are. All right. Just get ready with this. Uh. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I took out the ingots again. I just keep emptying out the inventory because we just keep getting so full. Boom. All right. Do that. Let's move around a little bit. Want to get a little bit closer. Let's charge up a shot. Oh, yeah, it's kind of cold now, isn't it? Well, it's colder, so we're not charging up as quick. Come on. Boom. Oh, yeah. 
Come on. Get in there. Should I start biting them more? I don't know. We're not charging this up super quick. Um, let's shoot one. How much does that do? Not enough. Wow. Barely any. Okay, let's just start biting them then. Could also do this. Oh, meant to hit C. There we go. Hey, got him. Got some black pearls. Very nice. A little bit of angler gel. Good. Uh, nothing else useful in here, right? Yeah, cool. Let's just drop all that then. So yeah, uh, the Magma Sword, pretty amazing. We're gonna need a cool name for this thing. Uh, let me show you it just fully so you can kind of make up your mind what we should call it. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because it's super hurt right now, but uh, it's kind of purpley, right? It's a little bit purpley. Um, it's a cool color though. So yeah, come up with a cool name for it and we shall name it that. Uh, guys, that's probably gonna be it for today. Um, I don't know what else we can really do with this thing today. I mean, we've taken out a gigantic beast like that, and uh, they do not really stand a chance against the Magmasaur, so pretty happy about that. Look at that little trail behind us. That's so insane looking. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, that is it, and I shall catch you in the next one.